to come uh, to the stage, please. Uh, as Dr. Prasad Riddhikaru has said, that uh, the incidence in uh, rural areas is somewhat less, but uh, unfortunately, this gap is closing between uh, rural and urban. We used to think the rural uh, populations are protected because of good atmosphere, peace, etc. But uh, India, due to the progress, uh, the rural, they are living in rural areas as address, but, but their thinking is urban. They have uh, the same thing, the televisions, the phones, everything. So it's rural living, but urban thinking, that is what is dangerous. Anybody else, please, uh, to, to the panel? Yeah, definitely the waste circumference, and compared to the hip and waste circumference ratio, if you take the waste circumference, if it is more than the incidence of heart disease, sir, I, so that means that is the obesity, the central obesity. Central obesity. We are talking about central obesity, not BMI. People who have uh, big belly and big hips and uh, whose chest is uh, less than the abdominal dimension, they are more prone for heart disease. No, I think, I think she is talking actually about the physical stomach. Stomach as a large organ, she is talking about, I am not aware of it, but... More incidence of heart disease, that's for sure. We'll look it up, but uh, it's, it's a, a patient who's less than 60 years come to the operating table. So most of the faculties they say, oh, young patient has come for surgery. So most of the uh, most of the faculty will say very young patients have come for bypass surgery. But here, for some reason, most of the patients who undergo bypass surgery in our setup are less than 50 or 55 years of age. And uh, we have operated even ladies who are 25, 30 years of uh, the age also. A couple of uh, surgeries, I mean, a couple of patients who are aged. In that range, also we did bypass surgery. So, yeah, we do come across. Who is uh, who is uh, in your memory? Eight, I think he got operated. We did surgery on it. National swimmer, swimmer, national swimmer. We did he underwent bypass surgery at the age of 28 years of age. So, that was in 2003. In our hospital. Just one clarification. Yeah. I think in the recent uh, era, even the as the. Uh, my senior colleague, Dr. Sukesh Kumar Reddy, has told that uh, even in the rural population, majority of the people are getting coronary arteries uh, diseases because might be the exercise uh, previously manual work was more and now even the farming also has become more of industrial type of, uh, they have uh, tractors and all those and the, the, that much hard work is not there. So we are finding uh, uh, even uh, their population are uh, affected by the coronary arteries and uh, they are also undergoing the bypass surgeries and uh, with the actually government scheme this arugya scheme we are uh, actually we are detecting many people having a heart disease might be previously this much uh, evaluation was not there hence we were not knowing actually and now that we know the quantum of disease which is uh, existing and uh, she asked one question, sir, the distendable stomach. So actually there is a study of North Indian versus South Indian. There is a distendable study, uh, st the stomach parameters. Like North Indian diet uh, has less uh, distended stomach as compared to the South Indians and they are relating it to the diabetes and all those other things. Because one of the conferences, one of the uh, person has presented the paper for that. So they have sized the stomach with the uh, other things, like not with the directly heart disease, with diabetes and other things. That's why they call the South Indians, especially they are more prone for diabetes as compared to the North Indian population. Yes, Anybody has any? There's a lot of awareness among the general public also about their heart problems and heart related problems. So these patients, they come for regular checkups sometimes, and then they, when they come for the regular che I mean, periodic checkups, we detect the risk factors in them, either like uh, high blood pressure, diabetes, increased cholesterol levels, these things. So when you tell them, then uh, they, take, they, they take some precautions to, I mean, at least to control the risk factors, the risk factors. And then to, by controlling the risk factors, we can avoid some of these uh, uh, cardiovascular events. So, there is still, I mean, there are some people who are aware of this uh, uh, elevation. Just once, you know, and then afterwards they can do it every five years till they become 50, and after that probably two years or something. But it's not, it's not asking for much, you know. 
just going, going for a treadmill test which just takes around 10-15 minutes and getting a blood test lipid profile, especially people who have a strong family history, he's not asking for much. And it's going to save their life, their family, you know, the breadwinner will be saved, so I think it's not a bad idea. See, what we are seeing is only tip of the iceberg. See, actually in Andhra Pradesh, the diseases are increasing day by day. See, initially RKSV people thought, the star insurance people thought that, you know, like, once we operate, you know, for a couple of years, almost all the diseases will be over. But they are finding now that more number of cases are adding up day by day because the access for the health care, access for access for health care has percolated to villages and towns and then and more and more people are getting detected to have heart problems. Question Manual the, labors, rickshaw pullers, auto drivers, lorry drivers, so many people are coming with uh, coronary heart disease at the age of 45, 50 years of age. So. I have a question for Dr. Prasad Ritigar. Before that, I want to mention to our invitees and to the press that uh, the Honorable Minister for Health, uh, Dr. Ravindredi, he was supposed to have come. Uh, but as all of you know, since you cover this quite a bit across the street, uh, he was uh, summoned to Delhi this morning. So he he is on his way to Delhi or his echocardiogram or uh, carotid Doppler or should he be staged in a society as a screening for health screening. As a general screening, I don't think we will uh, respect this. Like if they have a high blood pressure, diabetes and chol high cholesterol levels, then advanced screening like uh, treadmill test and if necessary CT coronary angiogram may be necessary. Now. But in a, I mean, in a routine um, general evaluation, we will just check the blood pressure, the blood lipids and the patient weight and uh, these, uh, I mean, the, the family history of coronary disease or any smoking or these things, we will make a note of it and then we will uh, treat the, treat, I mean, treat the respect to psychotic. Dr. Venkat is in, uh, in that, uh, let us say, Machel area itself, when you treat uh, patients for heart disease, how is the follow-up? Are they able to come back to the follow-up or uh, not in that area due to their different uh, socio-economic structure? Actually, because of this Arogya scheme, where uh, we are uh, seeing most of the patients, at least they are coming for one year follow-up, uh, every month or so. But after one year when we are operating, they are locked in the, this one because uh, the RBC scheme of maintenance of drugs and all is given only for one year. Then later on we are not able to find out, uh, sometimes uh, uh, we have uh, some, even telephoning, they are not even uh, calling them up and uh, they are usually not that uh, particular. So uh, I think uh, in definitely villages uh, they are not uh, Regarding the followers, they are not very well uh, particular about those things. Only in the first one year, because we are, even the Arakya three key people also, they call them and we also try to see them how they are. So they are, they are able to follow up for one year. Okay, I have one question for this day. And if they have a full time job, uh, when is the resumption? If they have no yeah, problem. I think after uh, one month, uh, some of them who are doing the office jobs and all, they are doing it. Only it's still the village, what is happening here is one of the things what I have seen in uh, the photography at all, that there is a mobile uh, a hospital service. They go to the villages and they train the people and they do rehabilitation. They give education to the people to walk and to do normal work and all those things. But uh, we are not able to sustain to that level of uh, uh, prevention, second, secondary prevention. So I think uh, uh, this to coming back to, uh, I think the villages are going to take time to come back actually. But uh, as I paper can Yeah. If you can't do it, I may ask surgeons to do it. <laughs> Maybe we should. We need minimally invasive surgery here.
వేణుగారి కమెంట్ చూ చూపించండి hospital that uh, has tremendous responsibility for the health of the citizens of twin cities medi city hospital has uh, undertaken uh, screening procedures for uh, and uh, this is our uh, responsibility for the citizens of uh, twin cities sir so colon one ఎందుకంటే ఈ ప్యాకేజీ కార్డియోవాస్కులర్ రిస్క్ ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ కి కొలెస్ట్రాల్ షుగర్ 